It is almost as old as dirt. So, I'll share with you this kind of photo, a photo of Jesus. This is a a depiction of Jesus from the Syrian city of Dura Europis, and it was painted on the wall in about 235. The wall in about 235. 80. 嗯，对，所以这个是在这个。叙利亚一个城市，他在他他在那边有一幅耶稣的这样一个画像，这幅画像的年代可能要追溯到公元二百三十五年这样。It it's a picture of Jesus or you know depiction of Jesus that exists anymore。这可能是最古老的现存的关于耶稣的这样一个画像。I, and and obviously I'm talking about the paralyzed Jesus healing a paralyzed guy today. Or I'd I'd say what is that a picture of? But, you would all guess because it's obviously related to what I'm talking about. The story of Jesus healing the man who was paralyzed has captured the attention of followers of Jesus since Jesus did it. I've had this sneaking, sneaking suspicion I've actually shared about this story here. <laughs> But it's kind of like a picture. If you look at a picture, you can always see something different or new the more you study a, a, a great painting. When you look at the stories of Jesus, you will look at the stories of Jesus, you will never grow tired of reading them and hearing what God may say to you in those stories. So it's just like you see a very big picture. You always have a new idea. It's like you see a new idea. It's like so my my hope and prayer for you today, Jesus healing the man who was paralyzed. You would hear God speaking to you, and to show you where you are in the story that Jesus gives us. So I hope that in today's talk, after you can think about what you are in in this story. What are you in in this story? I'm going to read the story in English, and then Minji will translate to Chinese. And the story in English, and then Minji will translate to Chinese. And the story in English, and then Minji will translate to Chinese. And as I read, or as Minji does, uh, listen to the characters in the story. Who are the people in the story, and how do they react to Jesus? So, I'll try to read in English, and then Minji will read in Chinese. And when we read, everyone can hear what they are saying. When he returned to Capernaum after some days, it was reported that he, was, he Jesus, was at home, and many were gathered together so that there was no more room, not even at the door. And he was preaching the word to them, and they came, preaching the word to them, and they came, bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. And when they could not get near him because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And when they had made an opening, they let down the bed on which the paralytic lay, and when Jesus faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there, questioning in their hearts, Why does this man speak like that? He is blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God alone? And immediately, Jesus, perceiving in his spirit that they thus, they thus questioned within themselves, said to them, Why do you question these things in your hearts? Which is easier? To say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven? Or to say, rise, take up your bed and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the paralytic, he said to the paralytic, I say to you, rise, pick up your bed and go home. And he rose and immediately picked up his bed and went out before them. So that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, "We never saw anything like this." Jesus 又进了加百农，人听见他在房子里，就有许多人聚集，甚至连门前都没有空地。耶稣就对他们讲道。有个人带着一个摊子来见耶稣，是用四个人抬来的，因为人多不得进前，就把耶稣所在的房子拆了房顶，既拆。就把耶稣所在的房子拆了房顶，既拆通了，就把摊子连所躺卧的褥子都垂下来。耶稣见了他们的信心，就对摊子说：“小子，你的罪赦了。”有几个文士坐在那里，心里议论说：“这个人怎么这样？为什么这样说呢？”他
。耶稣心中知道他们心里这样议论，就说：“你们心里为什么这样议论呢？”或对摊子说：“你的罪赦了。”或说：“起来，拿起你的褥子行走。”哪一样容易呢？但要叫你们知道，人子在地上有赦罪的权权柄。就对摊子说：“我吩咐你。”就对摊子说：“我吩咐你起来，拿你的褥子回家去吧。”那人就起来，立刻拿着褥子，当众人面前出去了，以致众人都惊奇，归荣耀与神，说：“我们从来没有见过这样的事。” Right. I want to try and read for you. 我想重现一下当时的场景。So you can imagine Jesus is in in a small house,、uh, maybe, oh, maybe like thirty feet by forty feet. 那耶稣是在一个很小的房子里面，可能比如三十尺乘四十尺这样这样大这样大这样小。And everyone around the house, you have the crowd. 那么你在那边的人，你有一些有很多人群。The scribes. 有一些文士。The disciples of Jesus. 啊，耶稣的门徒。You have the four friends. 有这个摊子的四个朋友，这个摊子的四个朋友。And you have the guy who was paralyzed. 还有这个摊子。Right, and in this, this small space filled with people. 那在这么一个小的空间里面装了很多的人。Four people are trying to get the one guy who really needs to meet with Jesus that morning to see him. 找耶稣的一个人进去。When the crowd won't make room for him to get in, they get creative, climb up on the roof, break open a hole, and lower him down. 但是那群人太多，他们没有办法进去，所以他们就想出一个办法，他们爬到屋顶，在上面挖了一个洞，然后把那个人放下去。耶稣就跟这个摊子讲说：“你的罪赦了。”The the scribes say only God can forgive sins. Jesus, don't you know that? 那那些文士就说：“难道你不知道只有神可以赦罪吗？” yeah, But of course, Jesus knows that. He's showing them that He is God with us. 那当然，耶稣知道，但是他告诉我们的是，就是他就是神与我们同在。Physical healing. And heals the man of his paralysis. He 不但赦不但赦免他的罪，而且他做了他身体上的医治。And tells him to pick up his mat and and go home, go go back to life again. 他让他拿起他的褥子就回家，就是回到他原来的生活当中。So we're going to start looking at Jesus, what Jesus 当中。So we're going to start looking at Jesus, what Jesus said and what Jesus did, and then how everyone kind of reacted to who Jesus was. 我们先先从耶稣所说的、耶稣所做的来开始看，然后看一下别人的反应是怎么样。Jesus says to the paralyzed guy, he says two things when he's speaking to the man who was paralyzed. He says, "He says, son, your sins are forgiven." 那耶稣跟他讲话的时候，他说了两件事。第一个，他说，孩子，你的罪赦了。And and at the end of the the story, he says,、uh, "I say to you, get up, pick up your bed, and go home." 那第二，他他跟他说的是，我跟你说，起来。Right, so these four friends lower him down. They scrape open a hole in the roof. They're sweating. They're tired. I'm sure it's hot. Dust is falling down around Jesus. This paralyzed guy is being lowered down. And after all of their work, Jesus says, "Your sins are forgiven." Jesus says, "Your sins are forgiven." 大家想象一下，就是这四个朋友在上面房顶上挖了一个洞，这个。他们肯定很累，有很很多汗，还有很多灰尘，然后连着这个人一起被放下来。Does Does what Jesus say surprise you? 那耶稣所说的，他说他罪赦了，这个有没有 ？I might be a little bit disappointed. 那我如果是他的朋友之一的话，我可能有一点失望。They might want to say Jesus, his problem isn't slop, it's he's paralyzed. 那那他们想跟耶稣说你。你没有搞错，这个他的问题是他这个他瘫了。你你没有搞错，这个他的问题是他这个他瘫了。Right, he he needs he needs his body healed. We didn't bring him here because of sin. 我们不是因为他犯罪把他带来，我们是因为他的身体有问题才把他带来的。Maybe just maybe Jesus knows we need something better than our bodies fixed. 也许耶稣所知道。Knows the greatest paralysis metaphorically in our lives is sin. 那可能耶稣说我们。用一个比喻的方式说到我们生生命中的这个问题。It's sin that stops us from being the kind of people God created us to be. 罪是阻止我们成为神所愿意让我们成为的人
This man's paralysis, he can't, he can't move his feet, his knees, his arms, his hands. He can't physically do what a human is supposed to do. Our greater issue is the sin in the man's heart. And the sin that's in all of our hearts. Because that sin keeps us from living the kind of life, being the kind of people God has always wanted us to be. We get paralyzed in our pride, in our lust, in our greed, in our jealousy. No, Jesus wants to deal with the greatest issue in your life. He wants to deal with your sin. With your sin. So Jesus does the physical healing as a way to help display what he did spiritually in the man's life. So forgiven. Eventually he he tells him to get up, take your mat, and go home. Sometimes our our sharing about salvation, about what Jesus came to do for us, is too small. We talk about how uh, we're sinful people who need to be forgiven. And then we stop at being forgiven. <coughs> and really, Jesus didn't come just to make us forgiven. He wants us to get up and follow him. Uh, I heard someone was baptized. That's uh, wonderful. If you think about baptism as a living picture of salvation, it will help you understand what Jesus is saying. It will help you understand what Jesus is saying. When someone is baptized, they 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 come understanding that they need to be, you know, that Jesus died and rose again so they could be forgiven of their sins and given new life. So they, they go and they climb down in the water. And then they go under the water. Right? And that symbolizes that they have been, their sin is washed away. And then we leave them all down at the bottom of the tank. You don't. I, when I talk about baptism with kids, I always joke around about that. There's nobody down there. <laughs> A person who's been, you know, who knows I've been cleansed of my sin by Christ, I've, I've been washed clean, they're still sitting at the bottom of the tank, so to speak. Yeah, but they get up, right? We bring them back up out of the water because they are not laying down dead in their sin, they're alive now, able to live a life in the Holy Spirit for Christ's glory. And then what do they do? They don't stay. And then what do they do? They don't stay <laughs> standing up in the water. They go, right? Because now you're following Jesus with the rest of your life. Right, that's what Jesus says to this paralyzed guy. Basically, go now, live this new life I've given you. The words that Jesus has for this person, they contain divine authority to forgive sin, to forgive sin, and bring us into newness of life. So Jesus
Do you feel the weight of your weight of your sin and enslaving you, tangling you up? 有没有感到你身上的罪，其实在缠裹你，在捆绑你 ？Do you feel your shame controlling your actions, dictating your choices? 有没有感到你身上的罪恶感？你要想要控制你自己。Maybe fear is enslaving you. Addictions are paralyzing you. 我们的那些你沉迷的那些控制你的东西，就是那个是让你变瘫的东西。I want you to hear Jesus' words. I hope you hear Jesus' words. Right, this this man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was brought in faith to Jesus for healing. This man was Your sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. Get up and walk. Those are the words of Jesus. Let's look at the work of Jesus. Those are Jesus' words. Let's look at Jesus' work. 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 If Jesus were to say to him, "Your sins are forgiven," in some ways, that's kind of easy to say. If Jesus were to say that, then it's easy to say. You can see that. We say it's easy because no one can see if he's really healed. That's something that the person knows and Jesus knows, but nobody else there would be like, "Oh, we see it now. He's forgiven." Because this person knows, Jesus also knows he's been healed. But the rest of us. The works that Jesus did when he was on earth, that Jesus in the earth did these things, were works that were intended to show us who he is and validate what he said. That is, to prove Jesus' identity and to prove what he was doing. So Jesus' works validate his authority. So Jesus' actions are to prove his authority. And display the in-breaking power of God's kingdom working through Him. Is to show the power of God's kingdom working through Him. We see that what Jesus said was true, and that who Jesus was was true. We see that what Jesus said was true, and that who Jesus was was the one who could forgive sins. That Jesus said was true, and that who Jesus was was the one who could forgive sins. That Jesus said was true, and that who Jesus was was the one who could forgive sins. So what I've wanted to do all week was look at these different people. My small group, we went over this passage a couple weeks ago, which is what made me think about it. That we, we, our own church, in a few weeks ago, we read about this story. Because each of the each of the groups of people respond to Jesus in a unique and different way. So, in this story, different people, their their response is different. And to be willing to ask yourself and listen to to the answer, who do you most relate to? 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 The scribes, uh, 第一种文士 The scribes were paralyzed by their intellectual pride. 第一种文士 The scribes were paralyzed by their intellectual pride. 那文士其实他们也是瘫痪的，他们是因为他们在知识上的那种骄傲，使他们瘫痪。How do they respond to Jesus? 他们是怎么来回应耶稣的？ I I would use words like they were offended and they were condemning. I I can actually describe them. 他们的反应是在心里面，他们并没有说出来，但他在心里面在想这个事情。Prideful people don't always like to talk about what they're thinking. 那骄傲的人通常不会把心中这个骄傲说出来。But it also shows you why they're listening. They're not listening to 把心中这个骄傲说出来。But it also shows you why they're listening. They're not listening to understand Jesus. They're listening to argue with Jesus. 他们听并不是因为他们想跟耶稣讨论，他们听只是为了来跟他争争论这件事。I think because of their 
their pride about their position as the religious, offici- religious officials and the smartest people. Well, they, they think they're the smartest people in the room. They're the most paralyzed people in the entire story. Jesus, you know, I will heal him that you might know that the Son of God has authority on earth to forgive sins. The you he's talking to is the scribes and the Pharisees. He was going to give them a personal experience of his ability to heal and forgive sin. If you saw somebody healed, would you be celebrating? They don't even celebrate with this guy who's been healed. And so often, people who are very prideful have a hard time celebrating God's grace. They probably thought the guy got what he deserved, and that's why he was paralyzed. Right, but they, even though Jesus does something right in front of them, they won't believe what he does. That I can't help but think in, in Corvallis, in a college community, there may well be some, some scribes around. There's also the crowd. I'd never thought of the crowd as a character in the story, but they actually play a very important part. They do, they do two things really well. They celebrate what Jesus did. And they get in the way from somebody who really needs to be near Jesus. Kind of like the crowd's not all bad, but they're certainly not cast in a good light. They are interested and entertained watching Jesus do stuff for other people. Do stuff for other people. They were, as the the story says, they were all amazed and glorified God. And that's good. Their sins to be forgiven. You know, earlier in, in the Gospel of Mark, Jesus started his ministry. And, and this is what Jesus said when he started preaching. And, and this is what Jesus said when he started preaching. He said, the time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. And then Jesus goes along the Sea of Galilee and he saw Simon and Andrew, um, the brother Simon, throwing their fishing nets in the sea. And Jesus said to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. What is the appropriate response Jesus wants to his message? Repent, believe, and follow me. It's wonderful that they're really They see Jesus as a wonderful teacher of good principles. He's very interesting to study. 
And sometimes he does really cool stuff in other people's lives. The problem with the crowd is that they don't repent, believe, and follow Jesus. And maybe unbeknownst to them, they're actually making it harder for people to get to Jesus. They're actually making it harder for people to get to Jesus. In a way, it's not bad to be in the crowd. But it's, it's if you think about a basketball game, right? You've got the players who are playing the game. And you got the fans who are sitting in the stands. The, the crowd are kind of like fans. They're watching everyone else play the game. The crowd are kind of like fans. They're watching everyone else play the game. I think often in church, we end up putting ourselves in the place of fans. We watch other people play the game. Jesus doesn't want you as a spectator. He wants you as a follower. The followers are shown by the friends, not the disciples. Because in Mark's gospel, the disciples of Jesus are with the Pharisees, with the scribes, and the, the crowd. And at the end of the story, they're the ones who end up really believing and then sharing the message of Jesus with everyone. But in this, this particular story, it's the four friends who are the ones who show us what it really is to try and, and believe in Jesus and follow him. They show a determined and creative showing faith and love. They know that their friends got to get to Jesus. They don't quit when they can't walk through the front door. They don't quit when they can't walk through the front door. So they start getting creative about how do we get this guy to Jesus. And I love that they, they show their faith and their love. Agreeing with something in our mind, it's, it's actually beginning to live that out in our lives, in our choices. Right, they had faith that Jesus could heal this guy. And they had a real love for this friend. And they had a real love for this friend. Not just an emotion, but a commitment to do what the friend needed. Maybe you see yourself in the place of the friend. You know, someone who really needs to meet with Jesus. And you need to be determined and creative in figuring out how that might happen. You know, the, the last, char last character in the story is the forgiven guy, the paralyzed guy. <laughs> he doesn't say anything in the entire story. <laughs> like starring role, well, Jesus is the starring role. He's kind of the co-star, and all he has to do is lay still. All he has to do is lay still. But I, I, I can't leave it without thinking about this forgiven guy, because that might be you this morning. He's someone who is incapable of expressing what God has created him. And it's not just because he's paralyzed. If Jesus would have forgiven his sins, but never healed his body, he would be better off than if Jesus just healed his body. 
如果耶稣赦免他的罪，如果耶稣只赦免他的罪，没有医治他的，只是医治他的身体，而不赦免他的罪，来的要好。But Jesus wanted us to see that when He works salvation in our lives, He's saving us so that we can we can live, we can move forward with our lives. 所以耶稣想看到的是，如果赦免救赎是从我们的心里面出来，是怎样可以改变我们活出救赎是从我们的心里面出来。是怎样可以改变我们活出不一样的生命 ？He offers this these great words of grace. Your sin is forgiven. 他耶稣给了他这样一个伟大的这样一一一句话，就是你的罪被赦了。And then he then he gives a command. He he orders him to do something. 然后然后起来。You're not paralyzed anymore. Get up and now go go home. Go live. 你现在已经不再是瘫子了。你要走，你要出去，你要回家。Some of you may still be in your sin. Maybe we're in our sin. You're not. We're 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 not. I think we all know that the world is not the way it's supposed to be. We all know that the world is not the way it's supposed to be. We all know that the world is not the way it's supposed to be. We all know that the world is not the way it's supposed to be. We all know that the world is not the way it's supposed to be. We all know that the world is not the way it's supposed to be. And what keeps things being the way that way, the way they're not that way, the way they're not supposed to be, is sin in us. We are just saying that it's not the way it's supposed to be. We all know that the world is not the way it's supposed to be. We all know that the world is not the way it's supposed to be. We all know that the world is not the way it's supposed to be. That's why Jesus came into the world was to deal with our sin. This is Jesus. Why he came to come is to deal with our sin. Compassionate, kind, gracious, bold, strong, humble people. Jesus wants to help us to become a kind, 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 strong, humble people. But it starts with our sins being forgiven. 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 It starts with. 开始是从我们的罪被赦免开始的。It starts with recognizing we can't fix ourselves. 让我们认识到我们是没有办法来改变我们自己的。There is absolutely nothing the paralyzed guy could have done to fix his problems. 这个瘫子是没有办法他自己来医治他自己的。There's nothing you can do to fix. 心中的罪的。It's something that Jesus came to fix for you. 这只有耶稣来才能够帮助我们解决的。So maybe you're here this morning, and a friend brought you. Maybe today morning, a friend brought you here. And he, they brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because they wanted you to meet Jesus. They brought you because Maybe, maybe you you've already trusted Jesus as your savior. Maybe you've already trusted Jesus as your savior. And and really, what you need to hear is is Jesus kindly rebuking you. That you 可能需要听到的是，耶稣是以一种很友善的态的态度来指责。Not not because you still sin. 不是因为你还在罪中。And、Jesus is always gracious and kind. When we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us. Jesus is 永远的恩慈，他不是来指责你。But that kind rebuke from Jesus would be more like this. 那他他这一种很 this. 那他他这一种很带着爱的这种指责是这样的。If I have forgiven your sin, forgive yourself and move on. 如果我已经赦免你的罪，你也要赦免自己，往前走。Jesus doesn't want you stuck in your own yourself. Jesus 不希望你就陷在那个你不愿意赦免自己的那个情况当中。You start believing a lie that you're not good enough to serve Jesus, or you're too dirty to be used by God, or God couldn't love you. 你现你可能现在的那种那个谎言里面，就是你不够 couldn't love you. 你现你可能现在的那种那个谎言里面，就是你不够好，你不不能够来到神的面前，这个是个谎言。Jesus wouldn't let the paralyzed guy just lay there on the floor. 耶稣不会让那个瘫子永远就
瘫在地上。And he doesn't want you to lay around in your forgiven sins. 嗯，耶稣不会让你就瘫在那边，你已经被。Character than Jesus. 你你和耶稣是一样的。And if Jesus says you're forgiven. 如果耶稣说你赦免，你被赦免了。And it's time to get up and follow him. 那这就是你要起来跟随他的时候。Listen to what he says. 然后要听他所说的。Because he's speaking truth to you. 因为他说的就是真理。So. 因为他说的就是真理。So. Where are you in the story? 所以你在故事里面是哪一种人 ？Is God speaking to your heart? 有没有耶神有没有对你的心里面在讲话？ As we pray, I will pray that maybe God will help you see how you could take one step closer to Him. Morning. That 当当我们在祷告的时候，希望你能再前一步，更接近，更接近神。Pray with me. 我们一起祷告。Lord Jesus, we come before you as those who are all broken by sin. 主啊，我们来到你的面前，是因为我们都是被罪所破碎。To forgive sin. 我们也知道你来就是来要来赦免我们的罪。To give us new life, to give us new life, and to call us to follow you. To call us to follow you. And as we follow you, you'll make us into something you want us to be. When we follow you, you'll make us into something you want us to be. When we follow you, you'll make us into something you want us to be. When we follow you, you'll make us into something you want us to be. When we follow you, you'll make us into something you want us to be. When we follow you, you'll make us into something you want us to be. When we follow you, you'll make us into something you want us to be. They've been trying to earn your approval and earn your favor for so long. 希望得到你的青睐，得到你的赦免。And you are calling them to repent, to turn from trusting in themselves. 主啊，你在呼召他们悔改，回到你的面前。And embrace your gift of salvation for them. 接受你所提供的这样救恩的这样一个礼物。There may be people here this. 你所提供的这样救恩的这样一个礼物。There may be people here this morning, Jesus, who have loved hearing about your grace and your goodness. 主啊，今天早上可能有人很希望听到你的恩典，你的救赎。They love learning about your wisdom and truth. 他们希望学习你的真理和智慧。But they're not in the game, and they're you're calling them to follow you, not just to listen to you. 主啊，你在呼召他们可以参与进来，不仅仅是在听而已。Give them the courage to get out of the crowd. And start following. 给他们这样的恩典，他们不再做这个观众，可以参与进来。恩典，他们不再做这个观众，可以参与进来。Jesus, I bet every person who loves you in here has someone in their lives they want to know you. 主啊，我我相信一些一定有人，我们的朋友，他们的生命真的需要你。Some of them they think it's impossible that they would ever come to believe in you. 有些人他们认为永远相信你。Some people they maybe have been trying to help learn about you for a long time. 有些人可能想要认识你已经很长时间了。May they be encouraged by the faith of these four friends. 让他们被他这个四个朋友的他们的信心所感动。May they redouble their effort and think creatively about how to help these people about how to help these people meet you, Jesus. 让他们更有创造力的来帮助他们的他们的朋友。And those here, Lord, who are Who refuse to allow themselves to get up and walk? 主啊，也我们也为那些拒绝起来、站起、站起来的人来祷告。Release them from their sin. 把他们从罪中释放出来。And let themselves, let them release themselves too. 让他们也自己释放他们自己。And we pray all this in Jesus' name. 我们这样一切祷告是奉主耶稣的名。